Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a frequency table using Python. Uh, I'm using JupyterLab um, and I'm using Python version 3.97. Um, in this video I'm going to be using my own library uh, Stickpad P. I have a separate video if you don't want to use uh, my library. So a frequency table is simply showing all the counts, um, but we can actually add also, for example, percentages and cumulative uh, percentages. The example I will be using is from a pandas data frame, so, uh, or I'm going to store it as a pandas data frame, so I'm going to load in pandas and then use read CSV to download a file called gss2012a because I adjusted it slightly, and here's all that data. Um, I only need one of them, so let's use a very short frequency table by simply using value counts and actually of the marital status. Now that already is a frequency table, so we could say we're done. Um, it simply shows that there were 314 people, for example, divorced. But we might want to add percentages, we might want to add cumulative percentages, and for that we can use the Stickpad P library. There's a function in there which is known as tab and then frequency, tab short for table. Now um, you can install my library by downloading it from my GitHub account. So pip install and then the GitHub version and then you can import it just as any other library. Uh, I'm going to use ps um, for short um, and uh, no module name because I haven't installed it yet. So I just done an update, so I need to install it again. Um, the function will actually have uh, two parameters, data, uh, which is just a list or a panda series. And if you like, you can also specify the order in which you want uh, the categories to actually show. All right, so it seems it has installed it successfully. So let's run this and we indeed now get the same frequencies as we saw earlier. We see percentages, we see valid percentages, and cumulative percentages. Um, the percentages are based on the total, um, and those are including um, the missing values. So these might not sum up to 100%, because there were a few people who might not actually have answered this question. The valid percent is only using the total of those who did answer this question. That's also the one that are um, used for the cumulative percentages. So these just keep on adding up the valid percentages. Um, in this case, because this is a so-called nominal variable, there's no order. These are kind of useless. Uh, so it would mean that 87% uh, was never married or worse or, or better. I don't know. Uh, so that's why it doesn't make any sense. If these have a particular order, for example, from fully disagree to fully agree, then you might actually uh, say something like 87% uh, said neutral or disagree to some extent. All right, and that's how you can quickly generate a frequency table using the Stickpad P uh, library. Um, a separate video on how to do it the hard way by simply just going over everything and actually building up this table yourself. Um, and those missing values, like I mentioned earlier, there were 1974 uh, people in the survey, while there were only 1941 who actually answered this question. So you can actually also include those if you like. Um, by simply uh, putting them as a string, so the NANs will then actually appear. Um, and then you can create a table that actually uses those um, and doesn't have the valid percent because it's using including those nots. Um, right, uh, there are other libraries uh, that might also do this. Um, I'm not going to go over all of this because I've done so in the other video. Um, these are the references I used, and if you have SPSS data, again, uh, watch the other video for uh, that. Um, so you can actually import them and make it look similar. All right, um, I hope this was helpful, and thank you for watching.